no idea how much the costume weighs, but it's quite heavy and it gets really, really hot. But they've already thought out the problems. They know what's going on. The heads are air-cooled, and then with the body, we basically have a sort of waistcoat with rubber tubing running all through it. So basically, we pump cool water around Martin's body. And because we've made this enormous suit, we've had to make chairs for him to sit on, which are like very big, giant director's chairs. We have to make sure that pathways are clear, that he can get through doorways. So you need a team of people supporting him the whole time. You have a couple of dressers who get him into the bodysuit. You have an animatronic engineer who connects up all the wiring and the electronics and then operates the radio control, which moves the eyes, moves the mouth. It's known as Team Hagrid, and I've been working with these guys now for 10 years, and you make very, very strong friendships. They're a great group. Yes, thank you. I've no idea how much the costume weighs, but it's quite heavy and it gets really, really hot. But they've already thought out the problems. They know what's going on. The heads are air-cooled, and then with the body, we basically have a sort of waistcoat with rubber tubing running all through it. So basically, we pump cool water around Martin's body. And because we've made this enormous suit, we've had to make chairs for him to sit on, which are like great big giant director's chairs. We have to make sure that pathways are clear, that he can get through doorways. So you need a team of people supporting him the whole time. You have a couple of dressers who get him into the bodysuit. You have an animatronic engineer who connects up all the wiring and the electronics and then operates the radio control, which moves the eyes, moves the mouth. It's known as Team Hagrid, and I've been working with these guys now for 10 years, and you make very, very strong friendships. They're a great group. Yes, thank you.